we also have a concept of a fixed and fluctuating capital accounts. What we did before in the example before is a case of a fluctuating capital account where A had a, had a capital, original capital of 1 lakh, B had 60,000, then the whole amounts changed because of the interest on capital, because of salary to B, because of sharing of profits. So at the end of the year, the amount of capital is different from that at the beginning of the year. Since the, part, since the capital accounts changes like this, depending on the distribution of the profits, it is called fluctuating capital account. So under fluctuating capital account, interest, salary, share of profit, All are adjusted in the partner's capital account. They are all adjusted in the partner's capital account. But there is another method by which the partner's capital account is kept fixed. So if A began with a capital account of 1 lakh and B began with 60,000, it would always be 1 lakh and 60,000 unless, unless they bring in additional capital or they withdraw a part of the capital. They want to withdraw their capital. Otherwise, it would remain the same. So then what would we do about adjustments like interest, salary, share of profit, etc.? These are rooted through another account called the partner's current account. Partner's current account. So it becomes profit and loss appropriation account debit to partner's current accounts instead of partner's capital accounts. The current account in effect, in meaning, is the same as the capital account. But the only difference is that we, the partners have agreed to keep their capital accounts fixed so that it shows exactly the amount of capital that is contributed by them. All other adjustments with respect to interest on capital, interest on drawings, salaries, commission, profits, sharing of profits, etc. are all rooted through the partner's current account. So in a balance sheet, we would have not only the partner's capital account, which is fixed year after year, unless, unless, like I said before, they bring in additional capital or they withdraw some amount of their capital. Otherwise, capital remains fixed. So in the balance sheet, we'll have partner's capital account as well as another account called partner's current accounts. So each partner will have a capital account and a current account. A capital account and a current account. Look at this example. Here you have partners current accounts. We will take the same example of A and B. A, let's look at the partners capital accounts first. It began with 1 lakh and 60,000. It closes with 1 lakh and 60,000. Balance carried down also 1 lakh and 60,000. So what happened to that interest on capital, to the salary and to the share of profits? This has gone Partners, it has gone to the partner's current accounts. By profit and loss appropriation account, 6,000 and 3,600. Salary, only B got salaries, 36,000, 3,000 per month. And their share of profit was 17,200 and 17,200. So they have now a balance of, A has a current account balance of 23,200 and B's capital account is 56,800. 56,800. So in the balance sheet, in the balance sheet, on the liability side of the balance sheet, you would have A's capital account, 1 lakh. We would have B's capital account, 60,000. We'll have A's current account, 23,200 and B's current account 
करंट अकाउंट फिफ्टी सिक्स एट हंड्रेड दिस वुड कम ऑन द लाइबिलिटी साइड ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट दिस इज एक्चुअली द टोटल ऑफ द कैपिटल ऑफ द पार्टनर्स हाउवर कैपिटल इज केप्ट फिक्स एट वन लैख एंड सिक्सटी थाउजेंड ऑल अदर एडजस्टमेंट्स ऑल अदर फ्लक्चुएशंस आर रूटेड थ्रू अनादर अकाउंट कॉल्ड द पार्टनर्स करंट अकाउंट